What up YouTube, Case Most Primer back at you with another video. This time I'm going to be giving my updated uh, WrestleMania predictions for this year's WrestleMania and WrestleMania 30. Um, in my last video, I covered the first five matches, which was the Andre the Giant 30-man Battle Royal, the first few participants, uh, John Cena vs. Bray Wyatt, Daniel Bryan vs. Triple H, Brock Lesnar and The Undertaker, and Randy Orton vs. Batista for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Um... Before I get too involved with this review, I'd like to mention that my Blu-ray review of Frozen is currently uploading, so that video will hopefully be up before this one, so that way you can uh, see that review. So, let me get started. Now, before I get on to the three new matches that have been announced this past week, uh, let me get on to some changes with these past uh, two weeks. Let me just go ahead and actually uh, upload the um, um, things here on the um, screen, that way I can take a look at them while I'm giving my predictions. Uh, first of all, I'd like to mention that the full list of contenders for the Andre the Giant 30-man Battle Royal have been announced. Um, all three spots were filled this past Monday night on Raw, and a completed list is now available. Uh, the completed list includes the following superstars Albert, in alphabetical order. Alberto Del Rio, Big E, Big Show, Bruce Clay, Christian, Cody Rhodes, Damian Sandow, Darren Young, Dolph Ziggler, Fandango, Drew McIntyre, Goldust, The Great Khali, Heath Slater, Jinder Mahal, Justin Gabriel, Kofi Kingston, Mark Henry, The Miz, Rey Mysterio, Sheamus, R-Truth, Santino Morella, Sin Cara, Titus O'Neil, and Zack Ryder. Now, when we first heard the list, like very few have been announced, and um, some superstars had withdra recently withdrawn, some have been recently been added to the match. But that is the confirmed list. Now I still stand by my stipulate by my prediction of Big Show winning. But if I had to pick somebody else to win the match, I say Sin Cara. Because this is keep in mind, I said both Rey Mysterio and Sin Cara in that list. For all of us who are hoping for that Rey Mysterio versus Sin Cara match at WrestleMania, this is as close as we're gonna get. So take it for what it is. This may be the closest thing we get to that. So, and I've always liked Sin Cara, so I got my money on him, but my main amount of money is on Big Show. I'm really hoping that Big Show pulls through, because, again, a lot of people have compared him to Andre the Giant, so hoping he'll win this match. I mean, I've got my money on him, and a bunch of other superstars, or fans do as well. Another change that's recently been made to one of the matches, the one between Randy Orton and Batista and Daniel Bryan and Triple H. Originally, the match was supposed to be that if Daniel Bryan wins, Triple H, or... If Daniel Bryan wins, he joins the match between Randy Orton and Batista. Triple H has recently changed his stipulation, saying that even if Daniel Bryan doesn't win, if Triple H wins, he'll join the title match. So basically the stipulation has changed to whoever wins that match joins Randy Orton and Batista in the WWE World Heavyweight Championship title match. And I stand by my prediction. I think Daniel Bryan is going to kick Triple H's ass, and then he's going to kick Randy Orton and Batista's ass, and walk out of WrestleMania with the gold. Because I'm part of the Yes Move. I mean, obviously I can't show it, but I will later on this week. So those are the two changes that have been made. The rest of the contenders for the Honor to the Giant 30-man Battle Royal and the new stipulation for those two main event matches. Uh, now for three new matches that have just been announced this past few weeks. The first one is the Vicky Guerrero Divas Invitational match. Now this was set out sometime... After AJ Lee made fun of Vicky Guerrero calling her a grandma. Basically saying she's old and, you know, just making fun of her. This led Vicky Guerrero to create a challenge for every single diva in the WWE. Basically, it's going to be an all-out single fall finish match featuring every active diva on the roster for the diva's title. And the active divas who will be in this match are AJ Lee, Oksana, Alicia Fox... Brie Bella, Cameron, Emma, Eva Marie, Layla, Naomi, Natalia, Nikki Bella, Rosa Mendez, Summer Rae, and even AJ Lee's bodyguard, Tamina Snuka. Now, who do I got my money on? My money is on either of the Bellas or Emma. Why? Because since Caitlyn left, the, the Bellas are really all I got left in the Divas division. They're the only belt Divas that I like. And Emma... Because, well, I think she's doing pretty good. I like her. She's doing pretty well in the WWE. I mean, all of her matches that she's won have ended in submission, so she must be a pretty good submission specialist. And she makes a good pair with Santino. So, that's my bet. Uh, you're welcome to make your own. That's just what I'm saying. 
Now for a matchup that definitely is turning heads. The Shield, Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, and Roman Reigns versus The Authority. Not Triple H and Stephanie McMahon, but Road Dogg, Billy Gunn, and Kane. Now, either last week or the week before that, The Shield was in some form of a ma of a of a three on three tag team match, and the Road Dogs or the Road or the old, the New Age Outlaws and led an attack on them, which was also supposed to be led by Kane. And the Shield accused Triple H of calling that attack because they know that all three of them are associated with Triple H. Kane, because he's the director of operations, Road Dogg and Billy Gunn, because, well, they're part of his old friends. They're from D-Generation X days of his past. So this led to a standoff between them, which led to them facing off in a match against each other at WrestleMania. Now, I'm kind of mutual about the Shield. I don't like them, I don't hate them. I'm just kind of neutral about them. So, my prediction, honestly, is for the Authority, mainly because I like the New Age Outlaws and I like Kane. Not the the corporate Kane, the old Kane. I really hope that version of Kane comes back because I don't really think the Undertaker would like that. What he's looking at right now. So that's my prediction for the matchup. Maybe if the Shield does something, I might change that. But that's my current prediction as of right now. Now this is now the last match, match I'm going to announce has gone through a bit of controversy. Um, a fatal four way tag team match for the WWE Tag Team Championship. It pits the Usos, who are the current champions, which are Jimmy and Jay, Los Matadores, Diego and Fernando, with El Torito, Axel, which is Ryback and Curtis Axel, and the Real Americans, Jack Swagger and Zeb Coulter, or, Antonio, or Cesaro, as he's called, with Zeb Coulter. Um, I stand by the Usos, because, for one, um, Los Matadores are still a bit too new to be going for Tag Team Gold, um, the Real Americans don't deserve to go anywhere near title gold, and Curtis Axel and, Ry and Ryback, it would be hell with them having tag team titles. It would be absolute hell. So I stand by the Usos. Uh, those are my updated WrestleMania predictions. Um, I know that, that there might be more announced this week, because usually WrestleMania has anywhere between 8 to 10 matches, maybe 9. But those are my updated predictions. Um, I stand by my, all my other ones. So, if any more get updated or announced, I'll give them earlier on in the week. But I guess that's about it. Later, guys. I'm out of here.